What's going on, boys and girls? Today's episode is about a meatloaf that we're going to make. Meatloafs are very good food to have. It's a really good comfort food. And we're going to, I actually extrapolated this from a recipe that Ina Gardner did. I saw it on uh, Facebook the other day. She was doing one. And mine's not going to be exactly like hers, but it's going to be very similar to hers. So you guys watch it. We'll try to keep this video short. Let's do it. Alrighty, y'all. We're gonna start off with about two pounds of ground chuck. We're gonna call. We're gonna have. Um, that's a large onion. The recipe that Ina does actually calls for three medium onions. So this is a really huge onion right here. We got a shallot right here as well too. We got some mushrooms. We got two jumbo eggs. Got some Himalayan pink salt. Some white pepper. Some chicken broth. It calls for some tomato paste. We're not gonna be doing a whole lot of tomato paste, but we will use some regular. Um, ketchup, a little bit of cornstarch as well too, um, because it calls for some breadcrumbs, and we're doing the gluten-free thing, so I wanted it to be a little bit thick. Calls for some Worcestershire sauce as well too. Did I miss everything? Oh, we got some organic thyme too, so we're going to be using that. So let's put this thing together. We're going to start off by cutting up our onions and our shallots and um, sautéing them until they're translucent. Alrighty, so we got us a rough chop of the um, onions and a rough chop of the mushrooms. We got a two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of the white pepper, and that's about a teaspoon of the thyme right there. So we're gonna saute this um, on about medium low, guys. Um, we don't want it. We're not trying to brown it. We're just trying to get it to translucency. Alrighty, we're gonna add our onions and our and our mushrooms and again Ina's recipe didn't call for mushrooms I'm I'm just kind of doing that myself and we're going to put in our our salt and our pepper and our thyme as well too now whatever spices you like to use guys you can use your own types of spices um, it's not all about doing it this way now I'll tell you most of the time that that the way that I've done this recipe tastes real good, but still my taste is totally different than everybody else's, you know. So, so if you if you know you don't like cayenne pepper, don't use cayenne pepper. You know you don't like dill weed, don't use dill weed. You know, um, this is just kind of based on based on my taste and stuff. So, um, so we're gonna let that we're gonna let this uh, cook for about for about eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. Okay, y'all, I added a lid to it, and it's been cooking for about eight, nine minutes or so. That's what you want it to look like. Now we're going to take it off the heat and let it cool down a little bit here. All right, after it's cooled down for about, I let it cool down for about eight to ten minutes, guys. We're going to add um, one-third of a cup of your chicken broth, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and that was three, guys. I just didn't show you the first two. Okay, and it calls for a, a tablespoonful of um, of tomato paste, but we're just going to use ketchup. And we're going to let that slightly cool, you know, give that a little bit of a mix here. And it should be cool for the most part, you know, but it's still a little bit warm. And then we're going to add this mixture to our, to our um, ground beef. Alrighty, so now we're going to add our, and these are our breadcrumbs, and I've got about um, one-third of a cup, I think it's called for one-third of a cup, um, half a cup, half a cup of breadcrumbs, and that's one tablespoon of cornstarch. We're going to add that. We're going to add our eggs, and we don't want to mix this real dense, guys. You know, we want to kind of mix it lightly. And then we're going to add our our um, onion mixture. I'm just going to mix it here. Then I'm going to come back. I'm not going to show all of this here. All right. We just kind of mixed this with one of these little forks like this, guys. Um, and we're just going to add it to our pan here. 
and we're going to form a loaf. Now, if you've got a loaf pan, you can do it that way as well, too. But you're just going to form your loaf here. See how it comes out? comes out nice and smooth. And what you can do is take your spoon. Spoon some of it. And you can use your spoon to form your loaf if you need to. But you can also touch it too. Now we've got this on parchment paper as well too. You see, we're just going to take it like this. If you don't want to touch it. You don't want this to be real dense though. So we'll come back once we get it nice and shaped. Which is almost shaped now y'all. We may expand it out a little bit more. Now we're going to take some ketchup here and put it on the top here. And we're just going to spread that out real evenly. Now you don't, some people don't like to have ketchup on top of their meatloaf. So if that's, if you're one of those people, don't do it. But I mean, I like ketchup and so it's not so bad. Spread it on top. Um, we're going to go in the oven and we're going to cook this for an hour to an hour and, and um, 15 minutes or until the internal temperature is 160 degrees. So I think I'll stick a thermometer in there. Now also, we're going to put um, a pan of water underneath it and that way the meatloaf doesn't crack, which I never knew that, guys, but they say if you put a can of, I mean, I can, but oh shoot, I'm about to drop my thing. If we put a pan of water underneath the meatloaf as it cooks, it keeps it from drying out and cracking. Alrighty, it's been in there for about probably an hour and, and 12 minutes. It did split a little bit, y'all, but it looks good. We're going to let it rest. It's at 161 degrees. You want it to be about um, 160 to be done. So we're going to let this thing rest for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to cut it up and we're going to eat. All righty, guys. Um, there we go. That's our meatloaf there. We're going to cut it, see what it looks like on the inside, and then we're going to eat. I'll go ahead and make one incision so you, uh, or one cut. <laughs> So y'all can see what it looks like. So we've cut it and it looks good all the way through there. And I know it's going to taste good y'all. So I'm, um, I should taste a piece. Oh my God. It is delicious. It is delicious. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to enjoy this guys. You got to try it. You can do it the way I did mine or you can try it. However you want to put your own your own spices. I can't even talk, man. This thing is so good. Whatever spices you want to put in yours, do it that way. But this came out delicious. So you guys have a great day. Peace.